That is looking good. Now it's time for the wheels. A few moments later. What the heck? What happened to my car? I do not suck! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and as you know I love big ridiculous guns and today I have yet another big ridiculous gun to show you but this is not big bore. This is sick nasty speed. What I have for you today is a Weatherby Mark V bolt action pistol chambered in 22 250. The 22250 is basically a 22 on steroids. Instead of a 40 grain bullet moving around 1100 feet per second, today we have a 50 grain bullet moving at 3800 feet per second. That is a ridiculous amount of speed and energy in a pistol. And I am very excited to blast some stuff with this thing. So let's get set up and get started. So this little guy has an internal magazine that holds four rounds. I'm loaded up with three rounds of Underwood ammo, 50 grain, 22, 250. All right, first, we're gonna take a few shots at that steel. Here we go. Oh my goodness, golly. All right, let's hit it again. One more. I'm going to bet that there are some dents in that steel. We have our three hits right here, and as I guessed, there are some craters in that steel. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if we can make it through that safe. Here we go. Ooh. Let's hit it one more time. You are throwing a bullet very fast, but you don't have very much recoil, which I don't really like. Basically, she not be kicking. We got a lot of, uh, like, drywall dust coming out of these holes. So we definitely disrupted something in there. We have two very clean holes. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, wow. Well, we almost did. Look at that. Safe's got a new little nipple. <laughs> That's gonna be difficult with a scope. Ah, I missed. Oh, oh, come on back up. Oh, this isn't working out. This is difficult with a handgun scope, okay? I'm gonna get it this time. Ah! But now I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna have to load it by hand. Oh, one more. Oh, darn it. Ah! That wasn't very good, but it was fun. Mm. So, word of advice, don't shoot your plate rack with a 22-250 pistol because you're gonna really chew it up. My gosh. Do you wanna be safe? 
from spammers, robocallers, and telemarketers, then you need to check out today's sponsor, Aura. Did you know that anyone can find anything on the internet, including your personal information? And it's so easy, even this guy could do it. Stop stealing everyone's personal information! Aura will identify data brokers exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. Swing over to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky to start your free two-week trial today and find out how many data brokers are exposing your information on the web like this guy. <laughs> you can also find this link in the description down below or you can scan my QR code. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Stop letting people exploit and profit off of your private information. Swing over to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky to start your free two-week trial today. You can also find this link in the description down below or you can scan my QR code. Again, a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's go get back to it. All right, up next I have a 16 inch block of 10% clear ballistic gel made by Clear Ballistics. And we're gonna take a shot at it with the 22250. And I'm sure you wanna see some chronograph readings, but the other day I kinda of had a little bit of an accident, uh, chronograph and some other stuff. Anyways, uh, let's take a shot at it, shall we? All right, let's make this jelly jiggle, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> Yes, we have a lot of energy transfer into this block. I mean, we cracked the table. I mean, just smooshed it. And as you can see, that round broke up really fast. Like it did not penetrate very deep. And that's because all of that energy got dumped within the first five to six inches. Hey man, catch. Ugh. Okay, now it's time to shoot some random objects and see just how much energy we can dump into them. First up is a giant jar of pickles, but I tell you what, you definitely do not want to waste good pickle juice. <laughs> oh yeah, I hit the spot. Okie dokie, here we go. Oh, that was still pretty eventful, even without the pickle juice in it. Look at this. Oh, man. Those pickles got annihilated. This 22 250 pistol is definitely delivering a lot of energy. So I'm very excited to see what happens when we hit some very thick liquids like glue and a whole gallon of pancake syrup. Okie dokie, I'm gonna go with the glue first. Holy cow! Now it's time for the syrup. Here we go. Oh. That went everywhere. Oh, 
Sorry about that. Let's move on to some other targets. All right, so up next we have some rather interesting targets that should be pretty explosive. Uh, this one is a pasta squash. Um, I've got a green acorn. I know this one. This is a, a spiky apple. And then I've got a pretty deformed cabbage. I'm going for the spiky apple first. Oh, holy cow! All right, now for the pasta squash. God. Deformed cabbage. Oh. And last, the little green acorn. I didn't do a whole lot. Most of our targets were pretty eventful. Even the, oh, I got glue on my finger. Even the deformed cabbage, but still got here. Not a whole lot happened to it. Up next, we got some eggplant because nobody likes eggplant. So up next, I have a one gallon container of gray coupon. My goodness, there is poop on everything. I got poop on my pickle. I got poop on my squash. I got poop on my table. I got poop on my pants. I got poop on my hat. I even got poop on my face. All right, so now we're back at 100 yards and we're gonna take a few shots at some five gallon water jugs. We hit one. I get poop on my limo. Let's take a look at these water jugs. Now we had a good hit right there on one of them. Good hit on number two. And we had a solid hit on number three as well. We were delivering quite a bit of energy. What did you think about the 22250 pistol? Let me know in the comment section down below, along with some other unique handguns that you would like to see on the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, be sure and hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com. Just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.